I used to work at a gas station mm -hmm. in, uh, in Alabama mm -hmm. state. And um, a, t a tornado happened in 2011, and it was, a, uh, it was an F5 tornado. It was big, and, uh, and I was in the middle of it. And uh, um, I, s I started uh, to question after that. I started to question a lot about Islam mm -hmm. because um, I wasn't certain uh, as a Muslim. I wasn't sure if... Uh, if I was gonna go to heaven or if I was gonna go to hell, you know, um, right. it was it was uh, it was really hard for me. I, I couldn't feel safe. Uh, I started searching in resources and you know on the internet, and uh, I used to listen to all kinds of uh, sheikhs uh, in the Islamic world, such as Muhammad Al Arifi or Adnan Ibrahim and many others. And I was and I also found you on uh, YouTube, and I started listening. While searching among these, you well, found, I found our program too. Yes, yes. Were you surprised to find a former Muslim uh, criticizing yes, Islam? Yes, yes. Tell me about it. <laughs> yes, it was really surprising because I, like, I grew up. I thought there was no such thing as a um, a, a Muslim who speaks Arabic, you know, who knows the Quran in Arabic. Yeah. To come out and criticize the Quran and you know and leave Islam. Yeah. I, I thought they. I thought. People like that don't exist. Right, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible, but it turns out, you know, there's a lot, a lot. And and what happened when you started following their in questions? Started questioning my faith a lot, and uh, and also ISIS popped uh, popped up in uh, in the picture. You know, a lot of videos uh, on YouTube of them beheading innocent people and right. you know shouting Allahu Akbar right. and. Um, and it was really, it was painful for me. It was really hard, you know, because um, that's the religion that I believed in. That's the religion that I loved. And uh, one day I watched uh, an episode of yours talking about why does ISIS slaughter? Why do they kill people by, by slaughter? Uh, and I linked it to the text yeah, in the Quran. Yes, if you find the unbelievers, then like smite, smite their necks off or, right. you know, like, and I thought, I thought at first that you were using the verse out of context. Right, right. I, I remember that same day I put the question on my Facebook page and uh, one of my close friends who is now like uh, a committed, really committed Muslim, when we grew up he was not, mm -hmm. but now he is uh, really committed and he told me that, you know, what ISIS is doing is exactly what Muhammad did mm. and that ISIS is true Islam. Mm. I was really shocked, and uh, um, I even cried. I left Islam at that very moment. I think I, you know, I left it. I said, you know, I don't want anything to do with this. I grabbed the Bible and I, I prayed. I was, God, please show me the truth. You know, I'm lost. I, I don't know. I don't know if I, I'm, I'm just lost. You mm. know. And um, if there is any truth in this book, just show, show it, it to me. Show it to me. me. Uh -huh. You know, and. Um, I opened randomly, and I just pointed my finger at a verse. And um, when I looked at it, it said, "Beware of, of false prophets. Right. Um, you shall know you shall know them by their fruits." Right. And that was that was the biggest shock for me. You know, uh, I I couldn't believe like God responded. It confirmed what it, you it, what you uh, yes you exactly. Had it was all happening you in know, the same it was, time exactly. And uh, I started reading the Bible from the beginning. And um, I fell in love with the character of Jesus. You know, it's, uh, it's totally different than Muhammad. That's true. And, That's true. Uh, and I, I came to a verse uh, where it says, if you deny me in front of people, I, I would deny you in front of the Father. Mm -hmm. I think that's how the verse mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So I went in on my Facebook page and I... You shared your I faith. Sh I shared my faith. Oh, wow. Exactly. I changed my profile picture into a cross and... What happened? Uh, the reactions were uh, amazingly, you know, disturbing. Uh, right. I had a lot of death threats from... Of course. From close friends, people that I love more than anything, people. And they, like, and they posted pictures of ISIS on my page and we're gonna come for you, we're gonna get you, don't think you're safe. You well, know? welcome to the club. That happens <laughs> to me every day. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Um, and it was really sad. My best friend, my best friend, 
he's more, he's like a brother to me. He told me that I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. Well, you are a brave man. Aren't you afraid that somebody will? Um... Uh, it's it's worth it. It's worth it. It's 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 for him. <laughs>